Jordan, good morning. morning. Good morning. Let's do this thing, man. So, Jordan, tell us what's your biggest strong suit, and have the Buffalo Bills been in contact with you? What's your biggest What's your biggest strong suit you bring to the NFL franchise, and has the Bills been in contact with you? The Bills have been in contact with me, and I say my biggest strong suit is just being a point of attack, anchor on the defense. That's something I pride myself when I was at Georgia, run stopping and being an anchor. So I definitely think that I'll continue to carry that on and improve while I'm in the NFL. What stood out about interviews so far? Um, honestly, just I'm, you know, this is all new to me, so I'm just taking it all in. Um, but just being in front of the coaches and the GMs and being in front of all the personnel of the teams, that really stuck out to me. Um, you'll hear about it, but you never really experience it till you're here. And it's definitely a cool experience because these are coaches that I grew up watching. They lead teams, they're Super Bowl winning. And it's just being a part of that and being interviewed by those coaches is a pretty great honor. Have you talked to Pittsburgh? Not yet. I have them today, I believe. Jordan, you mentioned being a, an anchor in the middle of the defense. I think everybody knows what you bring as a, as a run stopper. Uh, but do you, do you feel at all like you're getting pigeonholed into that role exclusively? And maybe what do you offer as, as a, uh, in the pass rush department? Definitely. Um, everybody knows, you know, I'm a run stopper. And uh, pass rush kind of goes by the wayside with me. But um, definitely in the off season, that's something I've been working on. I called on, you know, a few people. I have working out with Chuck Smith who's, uh, you know, known as Dr. Pazra. So, you know, um, that's just one of those people, like, you know, I feel myself when I have a disadvantage, I want to make sure that I kind of even the odds of bringing it up to the same level. It's just all working about improvement. This is what it's all about in all season. You want to improve and get better. And I definitely think that I'm doing that. How much are you confident in, in moving around that defensive line too? And obviously very tough zero technique nose, but what about moving over to the three? Is that something you can do maybe even moving out wider than that? Well, you know, I played three in college. So, you know, I played anything from the zero to the three. So, you know, that's second nature, but definitely learning. Um, you know, you don't know everything when you go in here and it's all about learning and whatever they're willing to teach me, I'm willing to learn. Jordan, I know his position shifted a little bit, but I'm just curious kind of what impact Will Muschamp had on your game the last year and, and how what influence you had on, on your sort of development this year at all. Definitely. I mean, we all love uh, Muschamp. You know, he's he's a Georgia boy, so, you know, he was at South Carolina and everything, but, you know, he's born and bred. But, you know, he has that defensive analyst, uh, I think that's his title. So, you know, those are like the little tidbits before the, each week, you know, he gives us little nuggets. And that just contributes to help us in our play and our style. So, you know, we can move faster. He's always looking for those little things and little details. Jordan, what have you been working on since the championship game between now and then? And what are you planning to do here in the conference? First, my first order of business was to get my mind, body, and soul right. Um, you know, it's a long season, and just being able to, you know, relax with my family and have that time with them, especially with my little brothers, that was very important. And then training out there, I was in excellence with Vontae, so, you know, I had a piece of home with me, so it made the process a lot easier. And just being able to get better in pass rushing, get better in conditioning, get ready for this combine, definitely uh, across the board, not even for me, but for the Georgia boys, we're going to have a great great combine I'm confident in all of us so just one of those things where you just keep moving you keep moving forward and you can't really look too far ahead but you just want to be where your feet are. Jordan with so many superstars on your Georgia defense how does that help you prepare for the National Football League where there's going to be stars at every position? It's not about the stars it's about how well you play your position um, if you're good enough you're going to be on the field and that's kind of one of the things that drove us as a Georgia defense. We wanted to call ourselves a no-name defense because, you know, while although we had all the stars, it was really nobody above each other, and we all played for each other. And I know, um, you know, going into the next level, it's a lot. It's a different dynamic, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a competitor. I like to win. And so whatever it takes for us to win, then I'm willing to do it. Jordan, what was your playing weight this past season? What's the highest weight you've ever played at? And then what do you want to play at the pro level? What weight do you want to play? Definitely um, 350 was the average weight I was during the season. Um, the highest I ever been was probably like 360. Right now, I'm trending down, and I'm closer to 340s.
and I think uh, once I get into the 330, I think that'll be my spot, and that's where I like to stay. But you know, whatever I land, whatever they have for me, whatever plan in place, you know, I'm willing to do. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So um, that should be no issue.